I'm going for that one there, obviously. Oh, I might hit it. I might hit it. I might hit it. Oh, it turned. Son of a Hello valued viewers, I hope you're all doing very well. Last week we did this video where we tested how important and effective were TV guided bombs in the Vietnam War, so the late 60s and early 70s. We tested how important especially this US Air Force weapon was, the TV guided GBU-8 as opposed to non-guided weapons and we proved it was extremely invaluable to hit targets without being shot down ourselves. You guys requested a follow up with the Navy, so the Navy the Navy's main TV guided weapon of the period would be the AGM-62 Walleye and we want to run another test to prove how important this was. So welcome to the 1960s Naval Anti-Ship Weapon Competition. We are going to attack a series of ships and we're going to do it three times with three different era of weapons. First with the circa 1950 Mark 80 series of dumb or unguided bombs. Then try again with the 1959 introduction of the AGM-12 Bullpup missile. The Bullpup was a powered air to ground missile and it was MC loss, manual command line of sight. This means that it was not a fire and forget weapon, instead you would fire it and you would guide it manually with a joystick in your cockpit so you wouldn't be able to pull away from the target until it had hit the target. This proved troublesome for pilots in the early 1960s and so they put in a request for a fully automated guided weapon and along came in 1967 the first variant of the AGM-62 Walleye 1. This had a TV sensor on it, the pilot would arrange the weapon to lock onto the target and as soon as he dropped it he could turn around because it was fully automatic. The setup is very simple guys, we will start at this base here, we will travel west for 15 miles and attack these 8 ships, they're all identical, they do not have missiles today, instead they've got a gun which is relatively effective up to about 2 miles. Now in real life, ships won't just sit and get hit by bombs. In real life, they would try and evade, and so they're going to take constant evasive maneuvers and make themselves as hard to hit as possible. Of the three weapons we're going to try using, we're going to see how many ships we can take out and obviously how many of us are going to get hit or damaged. The three weapons options will be here, guys. So first, there's the dumb or unguided bombs. Um, you can choose whichever dumb unguided bombs you want. Uh, for me, I'm going to go for all the bombs because the chance of hitting a moving ship with an unguided bomb, as you'll probably agree, is very low. So I'm taking all of the snake eyes and my theory being at least one should hit. Then you've got the ball pop. There will be four ball pops available. Uh, we've got two of the B variant, the small warhead, and uh, two of the slightly later uh, larger warhead, larger ranged C. And finally, two warlight ones here with a smaller warhead and two warlight twos here with the larger warhead. Guys, if you had to make a prediction, I mean, I guess it's going to be kind of an obvious prediction, but what do you think is going to do best and why? Why? <laughs> First we're going for dumb bombs, so I need to set myself up that, we're going to need that, 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 we need that, we're going to 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 need that, all that, because I'm a terrible F4 pilot, uh, I'm just going to fly low and put a bunch of snake eyes and hopefully one will hit. That's the best chance I've got. Is anyone else doing something more fancy or changing their weapons or whatever? Um, yeah. uh, dive toss. Dive toss. Uh, I, I don't know how to do that. So briefly explain how you're going to do that, uh, Doc. Um, I'm going to dive, point the nose at the target, and then hold the bomb button and pull up, and it'll come off when it's going to hit, hopefully. Roger, Roger. So that's a method of staying away from the ship, is that right? Yeah, somewhat, yeah. All right, fine. One more thing, viewers, from the previous video that we did, we had some complaints saying, hey, you forgot the AGM-65 Maverick. And we did, but we did it on purpose, viewers. That really is a next generation weapon that entered service initially in 1972, where today is mainly 1960s weapons, or um, at least the first variants were 1960s. So a slightly different era. Maybe next week we'll start looking at the 1970s era's weapons. Guys, take off uh, and attack those ships. Good, air off the peg. 80 knots. 101. I should say, I've got Boosh, Cannonball, and Dark. Hello, boys. 100. Uh, oh, oh, 
Wow, hey, noobs. Oh, one saved it, did the other? No, he didn't. Get another one. You know that crosswind I put on? All right, I'm gonna go straight in, guys, because I'm not, I'm not here to mess about. So my solution is to just charge head on as quickly as I can and avoid their guns by going fast and low. A bit like the Mirages and the Skyhawks did against the British in 1982 down Bomb Alley. Anyone know if there's a minimum release altitude for the Snake Eye guys? I think there is, but I've never understood what it is. It's got to have time to arm. I don't know what it is. I guess we're going to find out. Probably best if I go down the long axis of the ship viewers. I'll get more hits on it. Okay, they're already firing. That's bad news. They've got quite big guns. I think they're 57 mil? Or I can't remember. They have missed. Alright, Phantom inbound. Oh, I can tell where you are from where the tracers are aiming, though. Yes, you can. And bombs away. Oh, God, I did well. I did real well. Smash! Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the Phantom. I didn't sink it, but I hit it with at least two bombs. In fact, I'm just going to eject because I want to come and watch you guys. Get okay, rolling in. Oh, he's being a... Ah, uh, come on, Jester. Go on, Jester. Go on, Jester. Go around Dark. For God's sake, put your freaking gear up. Come on, Seaball. Come on, Seaball. You've got this. Ah, uh, nope. You won't lock him up. Look at you guys trying to do all technical stuff. Failing. Right, two men down. Well, I'm out of ammo, but... Didn't capture? No, he wouldn't capture. Unable. 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 What's your backup plan? Direct. Mm. You do it, push. And um, what's your plan? Uh, I was gonna do dive toss. We'll have to see if it works out. All right. Always not having a lot of luck. Looks like someone needs to do a tutorial on this. No, but I don't want to hit some smoky, fiery boom boom. Go on, push. Go on, push. Captured. I got him. Go on. Go on. It's captured. Now do all the things. Pickle. Yes! Oh, don't push. That's genuinely... Oh, but the ships have seen it and they're turning! They're turning! They turned out the way. You can only do so much with an unguarded bomb from high altitude. He oh, hit! Oh, I got hit. Oh, dear. He hit where it was, viewers, but look, it turned out the way. Oh, dear. Cannibal's down. Push, it's just you. You have snake eyes on. I don't know if I've passed. Then they, they do work. I, I want. He, he, they do work. You're about to see. The problem is the ship is going to be moved. By the time that bomb gets there, look where the ship's got to. Yeah, I've got the. It turned right. It's it? on nose, so it should. Uh... Yeah. Oh, somebody shooting at me. This is the problem. In World War II, viewers, there were massive amounts of bombs dropped against hostile ships, but they most of them missed. Uh, because the ships would evade. Uh, the bombs would often be dropped from 20,000 feet by B-17s or whatever, but the smallest adjustment in the ship meant that the bombs were, you know, even carpet bombing was essentially ineffective. Hence the um, first uh, guided bomb, the Fritz X by Germany, was invented and it did hit ships. It sunk a battleship, in fact. And I guess you could say a uh, uh, Volpop is really just a power version of that. You're doing sterling work, Poosh, but unfortunately, your tech is just 19 years too early. 17 years too early. Jesus. You might hit it. You're gonna hit it. You're gonna hit it. Well done, Boosh! You got one! Do more. Have you got any bombs left? I think I'm out. Well six done. more. Do that I have six more? Yep. Genuinely um. impressive. That is gonna get you some girlies. That was great, great stuff that was. And the monetized. So this is called dive toss here, yeah, Boosh? Yeah. Right, this is a great way of bombing. Well done. He still has to put himself in a certain amount of danger he's in if you're into the boomers. Unlucky. All right. Viewers, we got two shot down um, and we damaged one down to yellow health. Uh, to be honest, it's a bit better than I thought we would do. Let's do ball pop.
Welcome in viewers, we're now into the late 1950s with MC Lost Guided Weapons. I'm going to do that, I'm going to do... How many have we got? Four. Four, haven't we? I'm going to do that, 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 I'm going to do that. Right, when you're ready, let's do a thing. I've not tried using this yet, viewers, so um, this is going to be interesting. Airspeed off the peg. Eighty knots. Airspeed one hundred knots. Right, I'm going straight in. Uh, any suggested altitude, guys? Would you rather go in steeper or shallower? Steeper is better, I think. Steeper, okay. In terms of range, when would you want to fire push? How you know, if you had to eyeball it? I want to be able to see the target clearly, so I think it's not very far. It's like five or six miles. And then okay. it, again, it depends on the size. If you're shooting at an aircraft carrier, you know, farther out. Whatever. Fair enough. But a ship is probably about the smallest thing I would ever try to target. With. It might be a good idea if we all pick on the same one. Should we go for the same one? We whichever one smokes first, we finish it off. All right. Yeah. Right, so we want to fly as slow as possible, don't we, to give us as much standoff range as possible. Yeah, but the slower you fly, the more you'll be in their weapons and right. the uh, ship, so... Here we go, viewers. Yeah. Watch magic, watch history. I'm going to have a pop. Yeah. It's other way, right, and I guide it with my joystick, love viewers. Right, up, and it is... The next thing is close to impossible, as you can imagine. I'm going for that one there, obviously. Oh, I might hit it. I might hit it. I might hit it! Oh, it turned! Son of a bitch! I've run out of guidance. You almost hit uh, that, guys. Right, five, four miles. Ah. One of you just got shot out like an idiot. I don't know why you did that. Yeah. Oops. Come on, guys, use the standoff capability. Oh, really? Another one of you shot down? Alright, two down. You guys are way too low. Yeah, I don't know why they're trying to guide it in from a quarter of a mile. That said, I've only had one go, so maybe I'm... So what I'm yeah. going to do is I want to guide it in from outside their gun range, is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to go up here at... I don't know. 20, I'm at 20,000 feet. Air brake on. In. I'll see if this works, viewers. I'll probably just do the same thing as the boys, but... And rifle. Jump on rifle. Left 45, three miles. Eleven thousand five hundred. Mm, yeah. Come on. You're I'm, about to hit a friend. I'm trying so hard. <laughs> oh come on! It was right on his friggin'. Oh dang it! That'll be just me then. Yeah. Looked like you got smoke off that one. I so thought I was out of range of their guns, but Ooh. no. They were shooting at me at 12,000 feet. So. All right. Oh, we've damaged one. We've damaged one. What's its health like? 98%. 98%. Whoa. 2%. Oh, I can see some parachutists there. They're going to have a nasty day. Right, I've worked out by trial and error, 20,000 feet, air brakes on. Also, I think a side attack is going to work best. Although, I've probably got that wrong. Running in. Luckily, the low-speed handling on this aircraft is excellent. That was sarcasm. Corner is on a dime. Hmm. Here we go, guys. This, this, is my, this is my one. Where's it going? Yeah, uh, <laughs> it just took uh, off. I hope that's desync. It's desync, don't worry about it. It is. God damn it, so! Oh, 3% damage! 3% damage! Woo! That's what Kev's last one looked like with the desync. That looked like it was gonna go yeah. hit one of you guys. That's funny. Hey, hey, and coming. Hmm. Ow! Oh, my face! My beautiful face! They knocked a bit off me. Trim it, Trim it out. out! Trim it out! Open the canopy. Oh, Eject! One wing. Yeah. You know what? That's difficult. 
That's really, really, oh yeah, 98%. Ooh. Welcome in viewers. Well, amazingly, with the ball pop, we did even worse than unguided bombs with even higher casualties. It's just so hard to use. You can't concentrate on flying the plane while guiding the ball pop. The guy in the rear can't really do anything because he can't see. It's just, you know, you've got to have such amazing skill to be able to use that weapon, uh, which we don't have. So we're going to do what the Navy wanted and have a fully automatic weapon. So I guess we can select all of them. Two, three, four. I'm going to go direct, master arm. I'm going to go TV is already on. Don't need that. Don't need that. Do need that. 17 mils. 17 mils. Yeah, roger. Right. Let's go make friggin' naval history. Yes, I'm aware the E version was not a naval variant, but it's near enough to the J or whatever the equivalent would have been. Engine's good. Airspeed off the peg. 80 knots. The B and the C variant and the B variant did, didn't have this little screen, did it, guys? No, it did. Would have to have something. Yeah, it doesn't matter. I'm a phantom noob still. The early phantoms, instead of a gun, had a camera thing in the nose like the F-14. Ah, right, yeah. Gears moving. So they would have had a screen. Yeah. One thing I've learned is those guns are lethal within 15,000 feet, so go high. No chances to be taken. If you had to guess the maximum range of this, effective range, any guesses? Depends on atmospheric conditions. I, I'm guessing that you can, the higher you are, the better it will be. Almost certainly. And so from, uh, I would guess, better than the glide ratio in a Phantom, so at least a thousand feet per nautical mile. Should be able to do it as soon as you see them. Right. Well, I'm going to put that to the test now. Nosing over. All right, here we go, viewers. We're going to do some history making. I'll get the contrast. Come on, no, let me have the contrast. Why won't you lock it? You join Norm. Got it. And cap. One more way. See if we get another one. Two bombs away. Turn in and get the chuff out of here. Oh god, I'm shooting my bomb. I'm shooting my friggin' bomb. Oh, please don't hit the bomb. We're gonna need a wild weasel. We need a wild weasel. No, you don't. Oh, 1967. I give you the walleye. Destroyed one boat already on my own. First go with that weapon. Unbelievably impressive. Viewers, viewers, viewers. Tell me your thoughts. Because mine are dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty walleye thoughts. Don't shoot the one on the left front because it's dead. I killed it fully. When you go for a rear attack, don't be lazy. Go all the way up to 20k again. Bomb away. Oh, they don't like that bomb. Oh, they do not like that bomb, guys. Maybe his worst enemy. And sunk. Well done. Oh, I just targeted that ship. God damn it. That's it, I'm done. See you later. One easy weapon to use. Oh, it's my big 2,000 pounder. Watch this. Absolutely mullered that fleet, guys. Mmm! Shut my knobbing bomb down. Super unfair. Ah, gun's too good. Oh, it appears even the walleye has a, a weakness. Miss, 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 miss! Good shot! 2,000 pounds. It would break the back of that boat. I'm not going in with the tiny ones. Scratch. Oh dear, Doc, what happened? Land it. Oh, Poosh, what happened? 
think it was a fuel I, problem. I definitely wasn't a fuel problem. I just had a hard time locking it and uh, get the gas on the All right. Hello. That's a wonderful view for my parachute. Dark. You've got 15 miles to go. You've got 5,000 feet to play with. Fair enough. I think, I think that's shooting. Brick. Huh. Things have glided a bit more exciting. Oh, Ooh, no. your empennage. Your beautiful, beautiful empennage. Bomb away. Rowenge. There's less guns to defend now. Oh, that one got through unscathed. I wonder how you managed that. Ah. Well done. That, help. that did not help my glide ratio. Friggin' face. Yes, it did. Let's wait. Oh, get out. Get out, man. Get out. Shark food. The problem is, in a certain direction, if I run in, the sun glares on my radar screen and I can't see anything. Hmm. How about that, guys? Bomb away. Final outcome with dumb bombs. We damaged one and we lost two men. With full pop, we damaged nothing. We just looked like idiots and we all got shut down. Uh, and then with this, we're about to find out. Yep. Gotcha. With an automatic weapon, we destroyed all. Red is basically destroyed. Destroyed all except one, and two losses. Um, so we did what we set out to do. I love it when you get a war game like this. We prove how useful to the navy um, this is, and most of us, you know, didn't get time to practice or anything. So it shows how easy it is to use as well. Guys, anything to add? Technology works. Uh, viewers, let me know what you want, to, want me to do with the Maverick. I think that's probably the next weapon up. We'll figure out something to do. I hope you enjoyed it, and bye!